Ghosts Age Exists by Rachel Hart, Chapter 2. I didn't know Abby and Ashley slept together not so long ago. My best friend, she kept that from me. I'm not sure how I feel about this discovery yet. Anyway, it didn't stop her from letting me and Ash use her room this afternoon, as there was no way we could meet at my house, or his for that matter. It didn't take too long before we found our way back into each other's arms again. I can wholeheartedly confirm I fancy him so much. I don't know how this happened now. We were messing about with a bottle of water and playing about with it. <clears throat> and it's in my hand and I just spontaneously poured the water on his chest. He then proceeded to pull me close to him so I got wet too. It was a mixture of pure passion and play. It really was such fun. We only had a couple of hours together. Who knows what will happen next? 26th of May, 1998. Will is back from his mum's today. I wonder if he will call. If he does, I'm not in, I can tell you that much. I've got to face work later. Oh, God, I feel stupid now. Wonder what Stefano and Viv will say. Hopefully not much. I'm back from work. Nothing was mentioned, just a long quiet night, no call from Will, thank goodness. Sleep time, night night. 27th of May, 1998. Zoe said Will called when I was at uni earlier. Luckily I wasn't in. Saw Becky in the bar. She was digging for info on Ashley. I was deliberately cagey. That's our business as far as I'm concerned, not hers. She said, have you seen Ash? And I was like, no, I haven't, not recently. Which is true, because I haven't. I wonder how he is and what he's up to. I might pop to his later, as I'm not working for once. 28th of May, 1998. <clears throat> I did pop round to see Ash last night. His room is at the front of the house to the right, and the window was open, so I just climbed in. He was pleased to see me. He was just drawing a picture. The smell of incense he was burning hit my nose. It was jasmine scented, such a beautiful, delicate, yet intoxicating scent. It filled the room, but not in an overpowering way. Another warm night, no wonder the window was open. I tried to be quiet. Just, because, just in case Becky in the room above heard me. The last thing we need right now is to arouse suspicion on us for some reason frowned upon flourishing relationship. He looked so nice. I really liked his t-shirt. The electric blue matched the vibrancy of his eyes. He really is so attractive, as what happened next will reveal. I hope so anyway. As I want to capture and encapsulate every moment, every detail, forever. Oh God, it was so nice, utterly amazing. Lying in the dark, just listening to music. So special and unique, like a snowflake, I thought. Oh God, he's just so nice. Such an improvement, a pure, passionate connection as opposed to an insecure and insignificant one like I have with Will. How on earth did this happen? Is all I keep asking myself now. It's evolving at such a pace. I don't really know where it's going to take me. I really don't. I mean, Will, what about him? I haven't given him a second thought for some time now. He's still in London. I heard through the grapevine, as it were. I don't know why Drew, I don't know why, but Drew popped into my mind today. I was just washing up. Alpen stopped the bowl so hard it hurt my fingers to remove it, even with a tough sponge and scourer. And Beetlebum started to play, and I just remembered him. What was he doing right now, I wondered. It's been at least two years since I saw him behind the bar in the vaults. We didn't speak again. So awkward. Why not? We loved each other once, you know. He is still as handsome as ever, and I miss him. But I've got Ashley now. Oh my God, I've got Ashley now. I saw him at White Nights today. 
He looks stunning. Those eyes. I was just going to the library. He was with Nicky Disney, another Derby person. Spondon. Anyway, we had a little chat. He was so charismatic, it's untrue. The conclusion and outcome being I'm seeing him tonight. All I keep listening to is Karen Ramirez looking for love, and Jeremy hates it. In fact, he said earlier, shut up, you can't sing, Rachel. What a cheek. I know I'm not brilliant, but I'm not that bad either. Well, I don't think so, and I'm happy, so who cares? Clearly him for some reason. Another not an Ashley fan. The club grows faster than a cannabis farm on Oxford Road. He hasn't got a girlfriend at the moment. Maybe that's why. It sure as hell can't be because he never returned his Monty Python video to his video shop. I suspect Neve's, Neve's disdain of Ashley comes from the fact she, he fancies him too. Anyway, they're as thick as thieves at the moment, a bit like me and Ashley. I wonder if soulmates exist, because if they do, I think Ashley could be mine.